text can look pretty boring and pretty plain when it's just placed on top of video. Today, we're going to be making text more lively by putting it in our scene, motion tracking it to objects within our video. Today's tutorial is going to be rated 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So first of all, I hope you like the new intro and banners and everything. If you want to see tutorials on that kind of stuff, then say so in the comments, but otherwise we're just going to be getting on with this tutorial today in HitFilm Express. So I've got this one clip in the trimmer here, which you'll notice um, is just a dolly shot of this landscape. And I'm going to try and put our text in the foreground here, kind of in the same area as these rocks. So I'm going to start off by making a composite shot, which is where we do well all of our compositing. Right click and make composite shot, and just hit OK. I'm also going to switch over into the compositing workspace, which means we have a bigger viewer and layer, and also we have a bigger track panel, which will be coming very useful. We're going to start by opening up our layer, and then in the tracks here, just hit the plus icon. If you don't have that, you might need to extend it, although that should have been fixed in the latest version of HitFilm. So just hit insert tracker, and you'll notice a couple of things just happened. First of all, we went from the viewer into the layer, and we went from the controls into the track panel. The track panel is where we do all of our tracking, really, and our layer is where we view individual layers rather than the whole composite shot. So first of all, I'll start with these two boxes. The red box right there is the actual feature that you want to track, and the green box is the search area. In every frame, it's going to search for the feature, the red box, in the area of the green box. So if you have a lot of movement in your clip, you're going to need to increase the size of the green box. So I'm just going to select it and just drag it down to somewhere in the rocks, kind of like here. Make sure it's an area that has lots of contrast, so you might want to zoom in and check that the area um, is a pretty good area to track. If you've got a lot of movement in your clip, you might want to increase the search area, but of course we don't have much movement in this uh, slow dolly shot, so we can just leave it like so. You might also want to create two points. If you go to type and double points, you'll notice another point appears. And with double points, you can also track the rotation and scale. This is because if you have two points, you can track the movement of the two points relative to each other, and also the distance, which means you can calculate the scale and rotation. Now in this scene, it's probably easiest if we just do one point, but if you have a scene where you want it to be more accurate, you can also do double points to make a more accurate track. So leave the method as optical flow, template match is actually probably good for something like this, but optical flow should work fine for almost all situations. Then in the track controls, just hit track forward, or you can track frame by frame if you want, but that's kind of tedious, so just hit track forward, and it should begin tracking your point for you. If the track ever stops, or the point goes out of place, then it means that HitFilm's obviously done something wrong. If the track just goes out of place, you need to go back to the frame where it went out of place, reposition it and then track forward again, and if it just stops but it's still in the right place, it means that HitFilm thinks it's done something wrong or that it will do something wrong, and so you need to readjust that position and just keep tracking forward. In other words, you should just be readjusting the position and tracking forward again if things go wrong. But of course with my track right here, it's going really smoothly, it's a really easy track for me, so I'll get back to you when it's done. And our track has stopped now because our feature has actually gone out of the frame. But that's okay, we only really need to use the first couple of 15 seconds anyway. So now that you've made this track, hit New Layer and Point Layer. And then back in the Tracker, make sure the purpose is Transform and the layer is this new point. This way it'll actually apply all of this tracked information to this Point Layer. If you've used two points, you can also select rotation and scale for that more accurate track. Because we've just got one point, I'm just going to hit apply. Now if we go back to the viewer, you'll notice that if we click on this new point layer, it's actually attached to this rock. If we open up the transform controls here, you'll notice that the position is constantly changing as the track changes. Now it's time to add some text. Hit new layer, text, and just make the text box any size you want. I'm just going to go into the text tool, add some text, adjust the size of my text box, and of course, edit the text in the properties here. So I've got my text, I'm now just going to position it so it's in a, a cool place, like over here. And then to make it move with the track, with the point, just go into the parent option here, 
and just select that point layer. And now, whatever the point does, the text layer will do too. And when we play it back, the text moves along with the rock. That's pretty cool. You'll notice that it probably doesn't go completely out of frame because the track kind of ends. So I'm just going to adjust the position of the text just by moving it like so. And then it'll still move in the same way because it's parented to the point. If we had applied the track data directly to this text layer, then we wouldn't have been able to move it like so. And if you want to, you can even get multiple layers and apparent them all to this point layer so that they all move with the text. Anyway, I think that'll do it for today's video. Next week, I think I'll be doing a tutorial on how to stabilize your video inside of HitFilm. So if you want to see that, just hit the like button down below. Also, make sure to comment and subscribe. And if you've got any friends who might want to see this, then be sure to share it with them as well. I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.